Hi everyone, it's Annika and welcome back to my channel. Uh, don't be fooled, it is me. I decided to wear one of my darker wigs today just for fun. But today I'm actually not focusing on this wig. I'm gonna talk about a wig that I just bought and it is called Code Mono by Ellen Villa and here it is. So it is a synthetic wig with a lace front monofilament part. The color I bought is the sandy blonde rooted. So you can see here, it's like a mix of different blonde colors and right there, um, the darker roots. I did buy this on wigs.com just this past weekend or a couple weekends ago, they were having a sale 30% off. I'm such a sucker for their sales. Uh, but typically it is around $280 and that's what I saw on a bunch of other wig websites too. So it tends to be about around that price. Let me go ahead and take it off the wig stand, but here you go. Here it is, nice, like really straight hair, like pin straight right there. So take it off of this guy. And so here you go. So here's the inside of it. Um, you can see on here though, with the part, you can only part it on one side, which is like the left side. Uh, you can't part it really on the other one, you know, if you want it to look natural. So there is that, you know, here you can see all the wefts, um, the tag on here, and nothing really uh, too much else to it, just a really simple cap right here. And let me show you a little bit more around. So yeah, pretty simple wig. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this sucker right on so you guys, so you guys can see what it looks like on me. So just give me one second, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just put on the wig and this is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and just turn around for you so you can see the whole thing. So here I go. Whoop. All right, so hopefully you guys could see that just fine. And right now I'm gonna go a little bit into the pros and cons. And actually, before I do that, I wanna show you guys the box that this thing came in. Look how long this box is. I don't think I can even like fit it in the frame of this thing. Um, this is like the longest box I've ever gotten with a wig. All the others are usually like half the size and the wig might be slightly folded inside and no, like completely different. And whenever you open it up, and of course this is the tag that came with the wig. And the wig was on top of this thing, of course, like laid out flat. And I mean, this is great. I mean, it's a pretty good box. I'm actually gonna keep it and use it for when I travel just so I can lay out the wig and not have to worry about it, like getting kind of kinked by folding it. So I'm like, oh, well, that's a nice change of pace right there. So thanks, Ellen Villa. Let's go in a little bit of the pros on this wig. So first pro, the wig feels light. It doesn't feel heavy uh, like some of my other wigs have, so I do definitely enjoy that. Um, for one thing also, because I think it does feel light, you know, there is some less hair to it than the other, some of the other wigs. But I feel like Ellen Villa just kind of does that with her wigs, and personally, I love it. It doesn't look wiggy to me. This is similar to, you know, how thick my real hair was before it fell out of my head. Uh, so I definitely prefer this. This is like a huge winner for me with it not being so horribly thick. But again, that can be a con to some people. Another thing is that this is a very pretty blonde color. It is, you know, mixed with different blondes in here. Um, so it was nice whenever I pulled it out. It wasn't as shiny as a bunch of other synthetic blondes that I've bought. So it's not like I opened the box and was like blinded by the shininess of the blonde on this wig. Um, I have actually sprayed a little bit of dry shampoo in it to dull it some. So that helps. But you know, again, like every synthetic blonde wig pretty much needs that dry shampoo or something added to it just to make it not as shiny. Another thing I do enjoy is, oh my gosh, I was actually really excited when I read about um, this part on the wig. I can put it behind my ears and not really have any trouble. Like it doesn't, you know, bunch up like crazy. And I've been told I have little ears. So being able to put this behind it and have my ear like completely stick out like crazy like that as it's done with previous wigs that 
have more hair to them. I mean, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I never thought how happy I would be just to be able to do that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I hope that doesn't sound too corny, but I was actually really excited <laughs> to, to find that out. Uh, okay, so let's just go into cons that I've already kind of figured out. And again, I did actually, I forgot to add, I did just buy this wig a few days ago, so I've only had two days of wearing it. Oh, one more pro I almost forgot is it hasn't been horribly tangly. Uh, not yet. So that one's still kind of to be determined, but I haven't had any problems with that, having to brush it out a bunch during the day, especially the back. So having said that, I promise I'm ready to talk about the cons. First con, I would say I wish there were more colors for this wig. There were only like I think three blondes available and um, yeah, I think so. I mean check it out on the website, but there weren't as many blondes as I would prefer, especially I would like more of the blondes without the roots. Uh, my natural hair color was like a dark dirty blonde so I just feel like for me personally this root is a little bit darker than I prefer but it probably matches a lot of what other people like normally have like the main population so maybe I'm just like the odd one out with that but that's the only thing I could say I wish was a little bit different with the colors because um, there's like a, sh a champagne like extremely light almost platinum looking blonde but it has like dark roots and so I guess that's like the only thing I would, I really think is kind of a con with the colors. But again, that could just be me being picky. <laughs> but uh, another thing I would say is a con is some other reviews, a lot of people say, yeah, wear the, the bangs up, you know, going back. Um, it looks really natural with the lace front, but... Uh, I, I I haven't found a wig yet for where I feel comfortable where I can do that where I won't be thinking in the back of my head like okay this person I'm talking to can they can they see the wig because I'll show you guys what I'm talking about um see I, mean, I guess on camera it doesn't look too bad but it's still just something I don't know I guess I'm just not there yet to wear it back like this out in public so I still just like the bang personally and again I always wore my hair previously with bangs, you know, something to the side. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's mainly it with this wig so far. Again, because it is new, whenever I wear it out a bit more, I'll probably give you guys an update because I feel like that's like the main thing with wigs for me. Like, okay, at first they can look really pretty, gorgeous, work out really well, but if I wash this thing a couple times, you know, with wigs in general and it goes to crud. You know, if, if it starts to get all straggly, if the hair falls out too much, if it starts to tangle a lot, I will definitely update you guys on that because I like longevity with my wigs. Is it worth my money in that way? So yeah, well I hope you guys enjoyed my video talking about the Code Mono by Ellen Villa. And again, I mean overall, I love this wig. Oh, and also the cap fits really well too. It's kind of like a smaller cap so I don't have that extra uh, like cap bending in the back and I think that's kind of like along the line with all of her wigs uh, that I've noticed so I'm definitely I mean this is my second wig now with Ellen Villa this is my first synthetic of hers and I'm I'm really liking it um, I'll definitely look more and more into her wigs probably buy more of hers unless I find something else but truthfully I I am a fan. <laughs> so thanks so much, Ellen Villa, for creating great wigs that at least work with me. So thank you. And uh, well, thank you guys again so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of your day and please subscribe. Bye.